since poetry is one of my favorite um, parts of this class, one of my favorite things to read, um, I chose to do Marilyn Nelson. Um, so my project is over her. So Miss Nelson was born on April 21st, 1946 in Cleveland, Ohio. She was um, born into a military family. Um, her dad was one of the last Tuskegee Airmen who fought in World War II. So he was officially from the 332nd Fighter Group and the 447th Bombardment Group for the United States Army Air Forces. Her mother was a teacher. Um, Nelson began writing poetry in elementary school. And um, now she is a professor of English at the University of Connecticut. She is the founder and director of, and host of the Soul Mountain Retreat. Um, her education, so she do, she got her undergraduate degree from the University of California at Davis. Her master's degree is from the University of Pennsylvania, and her PhD is from the University of Minnesota. Marilyn Nelson has so many honors and awards, so she's the 2012 Poetry Society of America Robert Frost Medal winner the 2006 Connecticut Book Award for a Lifetime Achievement in the Service to the Literary Community, the 2005 Boston Globe Horn Book Award, the 2002 J.S. Guggenheim Memorial Foundation Fellowship, 2001 to 2006 Poet Lorette, State of Connecticut, 2001 Boston Globe Horn Book Award, 2001 Flora Stieglitz Strauss Award, 1998 Poets Prize, 1995 the Fulbright Teaching Fellowship of France, 1992 the Anfield Wolf Award, 1990 Connecticut's Connecticut Art Award, the American Council of Learned Societies Contemplative Practices Fellowship, the Department of the Army's Commander Award for Public Service, and the National Endowment for the Arts Fellow, 1981 to 1990 and 1990. Um, Marilyn Nelson is the author and translator of over 24 books and poems. Um, and so I picked um, just a couple of her books to put in my project. So Faster Than Light, 2012. Um, 2016, American Ice, Magnificat, 1997, The Home Place, 1990, Mama's Promises, 1985, The Freedom Business, 2008. Those books are all young reader books. And then The Ostrich and the Lark of 2012, A Little Bitty Man in 2011, Snook Alone in 2011, and Ladder in 2006 are all, um, early childhood education books, so elementary school. I chose to read a, a couple of her poems that she has written. I picked two that had some meaning to me. Um, I'm a mom of a daughter, and so that is um, important to me, and family is al also important to me. So when I was doing my research, I was reading um, some poems that she had published, and so here is Daughters. Five daughters in the slant light on the porch are bickering. The oldest has come home with the new truth she can hardly wait to teach. She lectures them. The younger daughters search. The sky elbow each other's ribs and groan. Five daughters in the slant light on the porch. A blue spring in blue spring dresses like a stand of birch. Saplings who leaves are going yellow brown with new truths they can hold hardly wait to teach themselves to be called ma'am, to march high-heeled across the hanging bridge to town, five daughters in the slant light on the porch. Pomp lowers his paper for a while to watch the beauties he's begotten with his Anne. These new truths they can hardly wait to teach. The eldest sniffs, a lady doesn't scratch. The third snorts back, knock, knock, nobody's home. The fourth concedes, well, maybe not in church. 
five daughters in the slant light on the porch. And then the poem, Family. Carolina to Boston as a nine-year-old. My mother's Ill illiterate silence has been a death. I wonder if she still labors in his fields. His sister, dutiful but cold as snow, gave me a little room in her house below. The stars with the Irish servants who hated me for the fatal flaw is my genealogy. For the first time in my life, I am at home in this bevy of scholars, my first family. Here, the wallpapers welcome me into every room, and the mirrors come see me, not my pedigree. My sisters, Jerusha, Amelia, Elizabeth, but Mama's unlettered silence is a death. So I thought those were pretty special for me. Um, so the activity that I thought would be interesting to do um, for older students, get a jar and then have, I would have this done, or I guess they could do it, but get a jar and then put pieces of paper in the jar that have things um, written on them and then have the students make write their own poem or story about the things that I have given them in this jar. So, um, just random words or random, like, three-letter phrases for them to put together that they can rhyme or they can not go together at all, but they have to use their creative mind to, um, make their own poem or make their own story. So, then for younger students, I thought that we could do an activity um, where they could write a poem about something special to them in the shape of that. So say that their dog, they want to write a poem about their dog, then they write a poem in the shape of a dog. Or if um, a farm, a car, a house, they would write a poem like on the outside and then like make the door words and the windows words. So it's trying to be creative to come up with some fun ideas that I would like to do. Uh, that I think would be fun for myself. So um, I kind of came up with those. So 